Alright, welcome to the first video of penetration testing, a hands-on introduction to hacking. In this video, I'm going to go over setting up our virtual lab, uh, downloading VMware Workstation Pro, and going through the install. So we can go ahead and we can open up a browser of choice. Let me get this out of here. And we'll go to VMware.com. And once that loads over here on the left, you'll see downloads. We'll click download. And under product downloads on the left hand side, the second one from the bottom, you'll see Workstation Pro. We'll go ahead, we'll click that. And depending if you're running uh, Linux as your main operating system, you can download it for Linux or you can download it for Windows. So I'm, uh, I'm running off Windows right now. So I'll go ahead and I'll click for Windows or go to downloads on the right hand side I will click download now now the only thing is is uh, you may have to uh, register um, an account uh, I have one through school back in the day I still use the same email and it seems to work for me so I'll go ahead and do that right now There you go. So once you've logged into your account, you can accept the license agreement. Click OK. And you can download your file. So pick a spot, the desktop, easiest way to access. We'll go ahead, we'll let that download. It may take you a little while, it's uh, 405 megs. Alright, and as you can see here, our download is closed. So we can go ahead and close this web browser and we have our download here of VMware Workstation Pro. We'll go ahead, we'll double click it and run the installer. Click yes. This may differ a little bit for Linux. Um, I've installed it on Linux a few times but uh, mainly Windows. If, uh, if you're running a Linux distribution and you're having troubles and you want me to make a video specifically on that uh, let me know so we can uh, go ahead we'll click next accept the terms and agreements next uh, you can install the enhanced keyboard driver um, if that's something that you would need uh, otherwise I just click next and skip it um, check for product update sure if you want to send uh, you know VMware uh, little information about your stuff you can leave this clicked or unclick it and uh, and not help them out um, we'll start a desktop icon and we'll add it into the start menu we'll click next and then we'll click install so it's pretty much just next 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 through the whole install process uh, nothing too crazy difficult We'll go ahead. We'll let it copy its files and uh, and do the final install. All right. Looks like our installation is complete. We'll click finish. We can now delete the file that we downloaded and uh, save some room on the computer. And we can go ahead and double click the VMware Workstation Pro icon, and VMware will uh, will ask you if you have a trial key if not it expires in 30 days um, if you need a key or anything after that uh, let me know I could probably help you out on that so it says uh, enter a valid email address uh, just enter the same one that you signed up with or just a bogus one if you want um, just receive junk mail pretty much So. Go ahead, we'll click yes, we'll click finish, and this is VMware Workstation. So we can click help, and we can see if there's any updates available right off the bat. 
Um, if you're not too familiar with VMware Workstation, it's um, it's almost uh, similar to I think the other one's called um, Play or something like that, the free version. But uh, a few more options with the networking side of things and uh, and being able to take screenshots or sorry snapshots of virtual machines. So what we can do is we can save a state of a machine that it's in and then we can go ahead and we can say try an attack or or try something against the system that may damage or or render the system you know useless afterwards and uh, and if that's what happens we can just go back to the previous snapshot and we don't have to reinstall the whole you know windows or linux system with all the the applications that we had on it so uh, no updates currently at the time we can click close so in the next video I'll be running you through installing Kali Linux um, installing a few uh, applications in Kali like uh, like Nessus and so on and uh, we'll be doing Windows XP Windows 7 and I'm not sure if there's a Windows 10 as well but uh, I'll run you through all that anyway so till the next video I'll see you then if you like this please like and subscribe thank you